Well, 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 here we are with the Anno 1800. It's just been released and I'm very much looking forward to exploring the Industrial Revolution. Something brand new in the Anno series. So let's go ahead and start off a brand new game. I've been playing around a little bit. There was a beta over the weekend, but it's finally been released. We are going to go ahead and play the campaign. I'm thinking of maybe streaming a little bit. It is Easter weekend, so I'll have a bit of spare time and hopefully we can get something going. Of course... I'm trying to somewhat revive the channel, so let's have a look at how that goes, but I'm pretty happy with the way everything is here. I don't really care about what my logo looks like or even what my guy looks like, nor the name. I'm going to play a normal difficulty to start off with. Um, I guess the only real difference is the fertility, I guess, and the average of minerals that you start off with. And I guess maybe you've got smaller worlds as well. Probably makes a little bit of a difference, but... Large worlds are also very fun because, of course, you can spread out and there's just so much more potential in, I guess, um, managing the way you place all the buildings and all that. But hopefully you guys will enjoy the series just as much as you are enjoying the Tropico series. And uh, give this video a good like. A little bit late to the Anno train. I see there's a lot of other videos of it, but... Since that day you saved my life, I have presumed I knew you. But now, a thousand letters from your father go unopened, yet one scribbled from your sister changes everything. I didn't even know you had a sister. We are broke, old pal. We can't afford a passage back to your old world, back to your family. Not unless you suddenly remembered what work is. Okay. Dynamite fishing? You're serious? <laughs> well, the village north is always short on food. Remember when we escaped the pits back when? Still some dynamite left. Alright, well, where do you send a dynamite, my friend? There it is. Alright, so let's go okay, pick that up. Me you had a sister. What else haven't you told me about? Alright, we're gonna use it on the school of fish. That's a little bit sad, really. All the <laughs> fish they could ever want. Well, let's go ahead and uh, feed ourselves like that then. Oh, what the chimichurri was that boom? They're not expecting Queen Parrotfish. Anything with fins will do. Nothing quite like a little bit of uh, char. Still trying to get used to that Tuna. smell of char. Mm -hmm. All right. Seems like oh, we are in the, the new world. The fish they could ever want. Game does look quite amazing. We are playing on 1440p. Ah, burnt reek. Hand over what it Here are your tickets. Hurry, drifters. The boat is leaving soon. And nobody wants you to miss it. All right, mate. Yeah, so we are playing on 1440p, so be sure to up your resolution if you are able to watch so that. this is it. We're leaving paradise behind. You never talked much about family and the like. But you're dead serious about this, aren't you? No matter. I made a vow to defend you. And I don't break an oath. Even if a blind man could see you leap into the deepest pit of dung. Certainly got a way of saying things, doesn't he? Makes a good point. All right. I have never asked anything of you, firstborn. Not when you stole away a tiptoe, leaving the family burden at your little sister's door. Our father More is accused of high treason. treason. Dare you to believe it? Will you now stand I by, knowing gentle father is endungeoned? It must kill him. Please come home. We need you. Can't remember the previous Anno's having a story mode anywhere near like this. Is it really you, dearest sibling? I never dared hope you'd return. Do you remember Bright Sands? Of course you do. We loved it here. 
It's changed now. The Royal Council support Uncle Edvard. Father barely cold, and he's pulling everything down. It's a pretty crazy city. Massive. I'm really looking forward to expanding the whole industrial side of things, having like an industrial island. You can pollute the living daylights out of it. How wealthy you were. Quite literally. Why were we selling fish and sleeping in barns? Never told your friend of good and sons. There is much to be said, but not now. Dear father's funeral begins. Where have you been? Without you brats, we'll never be done with this obligation. Looks like death claimed the wrong brother. No matter, so few are here, when they are the few he loved most. Nobody likes a traitor, let alone his tainted offspring. Better make yourself scarce. We shove, dear sibling, for now. I have acquired a small island with the last of my funds, and passage for all still loyal to father. Together, we shall clear his name, or die trying. Your sister reminds me of you. Must mean new adventures await, old pal. This is it. Ditch water. End of the world. I hope you like it quiet. Well, it certainly won't be quiet in a few minutes. It'll be a hustling, a bustling oasis. At least, let's hope for the best. Chapter 1. A Tale of Two Brothers. Right, we've got a bit of a fog of war now in between our islands. Oh, actually, what? look at that. Still here? Establishing a rival company on that disheveled island? Very nice. We can have a look at the uh, island there. Uncle Edvard scoff. A modest island, yes, but if you're at all like father, you'll look beyond appearances. Okay. We must shelter the good, loyal people who have shown solidarity with our family. I wonder how we clear all we this need stuff every off. Every hand we can get if we are to expunge this debris. Abandoned market district. You need more people before you can demolish these ruins. Oh. So it seems like there are like little missions that we need to do to actually expand. So what I'm going to do is build, well, we need to start off with the uh, small marketplace first off. That's pretty much the most important thing. And I'll place that right over here. And I'll just place buildings up along this way. You reached a new milestone. And there we go. The age of agriculture. Get some new unlocks, which is always great. I'm going to need a small warehouse as well for some of these Do industries. Do you remain here out of spite? Or is this some futile attempt at competition? As you are so desperate to appear responsible, you'll be pleased to hear the cost of that fantastical funeral falls to you. All right, we are definitely going to have to get some more wood in here, though. Dastard. Picking and choosing what he inherits. Derelict school. Jeez, okay. We've got quite a bit to rebuild. Abandoned pit. Abandoned smeltery. Jeez, this must have really been quite a big island with lots of things happening out and about. I also do like the fact that sometimes we can see some animals. It seems like though this place definitely got destroyed by whatever it was that destroyed it. So, I guess it's just a waiting game until we hit the 50 farmers, I think. I mean, I'm not able... Actually, I am able to build this, but you need a warehouse, don't you? I think what I might do... Is just ex um, hmm. 
This thing upgrade costs 10. I'm not quite sure where we're going to be able to build this. I mean... I'll build that here, right? It I should do. just automatically start as soon as we've planted the forest. What should happen is it Sing should... Slander, Edvard, Prince and Bright Sams. Yeah, it should move over to the... Oh, here we go. We've got some child, is it? newspapers. Thank heavens. I am so ashamed of every single word your uncle had me print. Yeah, so these newspapers do some uh, gameplay hands while our one changes. Prospect was in such a state. Oh, hello. So let's gather our townsfolk and ask them to spruce the place up. He twists every article in his favor at our and father's expense. All right. What I want to do, though, eased. Now we have others for company sibling. Is demolish that? It's been a hard day of labor for us all. We should cater to our tired, hungry people. Then what I'm going to do is build out a couple of these forestry plantations or lumberjack huts. And then, so this produces 15 or one wood in 15 seconds. And the sawmill produces timber in 15 seconds. So it's a one to one ratio, I guess. So if my maths is anywhere near correct, all I'll have to timber. do is Very good. that. I'll try not to think of the coffin. Alright. Very dark and gloomy. But let's go ahead and build that fishery. And we should be good to go. Let's just connect all that up so at least there is some transportation available. Have a look at how our city's going. We are playing on fast mode. Here we go. If we slow Game it down. Saved. Actually, it looks pretty good. What we can do as well is go here. Get rid of the UI. Not quite sure how we can zoom in though. I saw some people being able to like zoom right in as if you're a townsfellow. Have to find out how that happens. But let's go ahead and keep on getting some we'll more workers. Of what we are. Meaning I'll have to upgrade some of these houses. What I will do as well is just demolish this road. Do something like so. There we go. Now with these games, it's pretty important to have the most, I guess, efficient layout. Which I'm not quite sure how to start. I guess that's something that you learn with a lot more experience to say the least we're still very fresh on in the game aren't we um probably what would be a good idea as well as building out this way because as you can see this marketplace is six wide and each house is three wide so what i could do is to actually delete this house and build out like so delete these two actually there's gonna have to be a fair bit of deleting from what it seems like at the moment that's all right what we can do is just spread out here until we get some more people all right so what's happening here let's speed it back up we're getting more and more food slowly but surely so that's always a big plus you reached a new milestone. Reaching new milestones is always good too. Alright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat it's a little bit. A long, hard day. Need to rest. Well, I guess that's not really cheating, is it? Wet their Okay, and then connect all these guys up to roads. There we go. So we'll get the 150 farmers pretty quick. We need to build a pub though to ensure that they're happy. So that fits perfectly in there. So I'll place that there. 
And then we need to maintain 70% Schnapp's happiness or supply for a minute. Now, these public services aren't even actually necessary. You can get away with uh, without even using it, but they are necessary for your happiness. You need to make sure your people are happy. So I need to produce Schnapps. So it's, I guess, another gameplay element. Instead of just needs to upgrade, you still need to also worry about your happiness. And pollution does play or come into account. Definitely something to worry you about. Can make better what's already gold. I shouldn't ask. We've all we've ever wished for. Alright, so she wants me to find stray dogs. Some of these extra bonus missions are actually pretty good. Uh, they can pay off pretty well and they're pretty cheap and easy to do. I mean it's a cheap way of um We'd understand if there's too much on your plate. Getting bonuses. But I think what they mean by stray dogs is like they're around on the islands. We'll be able to see them just out and about. But, uh, I do not see any. Don't know how I missed that stuff. That would. But anyways. There's quite a bit around, actually. Can't really see too many of the stray dogs, though. Anyways, let's continue on. Um, how are we doing with the schnapps? We should be... Actually, we're not doing anything with the schnapps. So, we need a potato farm. Okay. And potato farms, pretty sure they're pretty large, aren't they? So, we need to find a nice little spot for them. I think what I'm going to do is just expand out. I'm going to get rid of that. Um, okay, what I'm going to do is... I mean, all this stuff can really be temporary, to be honest. I can't build out like that. What about like so? Oh wow, that's 72, is it? Needs a warehouse, you do. Right, yes you do. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... Game saved. Place a warehouse right there for you. <laughs> that should make him happy. And then... It's also a one-to-one -one ratio, it seems like. I'll end up deleting these, I think, a little bit later on. Also, I've noticed, playing the beta, you do lose a lot of money really quickly. Like, it's pretty hard to actually make money, it seems like, until you get to, until the very latter stages, or later stages in the game. Like when you really start getting those, um, higher, uh, tier people. Feels an eternity since the funeral, and the cast! <laughs> Why, it was extortionate! Repay me now! Yeah, so that looks like a stray dog, right? Just walking around Your like that. people are recovered and desirous to proceed. Set them to it. We're going to need as much space as we can clear. All right, so we want to clear I feel this sick stuff. to the stomach that Edvard could ask so much of us so soon after Father's death. Speak to our humble cousin. He writes of a worker riot in Bright Sands. Alright, that actually helped me out a lot. We are not alone in our contempt for Edvard. Because as you might be able to see now, it's cleared up a lot of the space that we were wanting it to clear up. Which is great news. Alright, so I'm going at the moment for something pretty plain Jane. At least in the terms of uh, our city layout. Nothing too fancy yet. Maybe a little bit later on we'll try something a little bit fancier, but at the moment we're just going with the blocky style and I guess uh, work on that. We're also getting lots of timber pretty quick. So as you progress through the ages, you're going to have some primary, I guess, uh, resources. So at the moment, very first stage of the game, it's all timber. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, later on, the production chains get much crazier than what we've got at the moment. Don't you worry about that. I've got to say, I'm pretty disappointed though with the uh, the way the game runs. I mean, it really should be running at 60 frames a second, but and I'm playing at DX11, so. When will you show your family some gratitude? Yeah, I'm not quite sure. Anyway, 
Find your cousin leading a mob in the vicinity of Edward Great Construction Site. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. We're going to fire. So, that means what I'm going to do is if I click... No. There we go. I wanted to change the orientation of that to... So, that should work. Yeah, that seems like it covers pretty much everything in the area, so that's good. Just going to train some daring firefighters. Hopefully they'll save me. Now. My cousin is leading a mob. There he is. He'd rather die than stay. Our flag still wave for Samuel. Let Edvard oppress us no more. Alright, so let's go find some of these large mobs. I guess this is uh, when labor strikes and all were happening. The fire is out of control. Back then, people were demanding eight hours work, eight hours leisure time, and eight, eight hours me, sleep. Guys. Really? We're on board. Only we've no shit to get on board of. All right, your cousin is wanting how to leave the island. You may have my boat. It's my poor aunt's legacy. Her second husband was a decent sailor. All right, looks like a lot of our firefighters have say have uh, failed quite abysmally at that. They should be in. Okay, they are fighting a couple of these fires. Oh god, it seems to be spreading quite a bit too, which is no good. Um, how do we not have four snaps in storage? You will not spoil my plans with your tardiness. Interesting. So we're just using it all up. Seems so. Jeez. They sure like the schnapps. Ruins behind. Your city has grown more beautiful. All right. So let's go ahead and try to get the, some schnapps in here. What is very nice that I do like is that they've incorporated the ability, so if I expand these fields, I can pretty much join these um, crops up, and it just looks like one continuous massive field, which is really nice. It actually works very nicely with the uh, wheat fields, which you'll see a little bit later on in the game. They look pretty amazing. Uh, let's just get a, another schnapps factory. I'm just going to twist that around like so well actually I think I can clear out pretty much everything just by click on it now there we go can clear out quite a few things what I'm gonna do is actually just expand a little bit more Might, uh, I'll leave it as it is. So nice how I can zoom up top and the shadows actually change as well. Very nice. But yeah, when you zoom in, the game really does seem to struggle. Maybe it's more of a CPU thing though. Because there's just so much crap happening. Alright, yes, we failed the farmer's mission, which was to find the dogs. I couldn't do that as well in the beta as well. I couldn't really figure out how to do that. Anyways, let's go ahead and we should get some schnapps in storage. I mean, it should be happening, hopefully. Life is so-so. Seems like it is rising up, which is great. Slowly but surely, right? Anyways, select the editor and his crew at Edward's Harbour. Hurry, damn you! You will not spoil my. Hurry, damn you! I think maybe they won't have four. Okay. You will not spoil my. 
When will you show your family some? Uh, okay. I guess not that. Select the editor and his crew at Edwards Harbor. This is Edwards Harbor, right? Surely. If your father had only let me in, we could have built this together. What do you mean select the editor though? It's not one of these guys, is it? Hmm. Maybe there is someone here that I'm missing. It's got to definitely be with this ship though, right? You will not spoil my plans with your tardiness. Unless they mean like an editor in here in the construction area. Don't think that's what they mean though. Anyways, I think let's just go ahead and continue on then. Have a check out what these notifications are saying. It's nice to see that it is sh saving a lot. I wonder how the save game system actually works. I'll just call it this and then I go load game. As you can see, I've been playing quite a bit. Aha, uh -huh, I think it saves multiple saves. Game save. Because I remember back in uh, the previous two annos or so, it was all pretty much just one save on each, let's like pretty much walk through that you did or play through that you did. So every time you, if you wanted to test something out, it would just overwrite your previous save. Which is no good, because that way there's no experimentation. Which is half the fun, and we are actually making good money now. I, th I think the happiness actually makes a bit of a difference. Happy as a pig in muck. Um, speaking of all that kind of stuff, what I need are some work clothes as well, just to upgrade these people a little bit. So what I'm going to do is... You know what, I think I'm going to place that stuff here. Because it doesn't require too much space. And we do have a warehouse here already. It's not too intensive in regards to space. So let's just go one, two, and three. And so this takes 30 seconds, and this takes 30 seconds again. So that's not bad at all. Uh, what I am going to have to do, though, is... Oh, no. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit there. So what we're going to have to do is... Yeah, probably... Actually, no, what I could do... Watch this. That should work. We do have a lot of... Oh, I need to build that there. There we go. Yeah, so this guy is going to need a bit of an upgrade. Which won't be too hard, actually, for us, I don't think. We should be alright. You will not spoil my plans with your tardiness. Anyways, so what I need to do for this mission is have in storage four schnapps and produce good goods and deliver here. So this is definitely the schnapps thing that they want. What I'm going to do is, like that, I think that's what they want us to do. Alright, we've laid down some good foundations so far. Got some more wood, but I don't really need that. Um, looks like I will need some more fish though. Extend that a little bit. So that should be enough to feed our people. And it seems like we do have a good amount of clothes coming in too. There's no real worries here. Question is, how would we do with the schnapps? Doesn't seem like it is working. I think maybe purchase is what we want. Maybe. When will you show your family some gratitude? Don't worry, mate. I'll get you nice and drunk. 
Don't you worry about that. There really should be a way that you can limit the amount that we use, or the amount of snaps that we use. I think it could be like this. There we go. Supply prohibited. Makes him quite unhappy, though, of course. Ready to repay my charity? Yes, I am. Don't think you're finished, brat. Oh, so that was pretty simple. I loathe the reek of lanolin, but if farmer's smocks are all you have... Tell me you've managed something. Bah, bah, black sheep. Have you any wool? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Four bags full. Alright, he's quite the sarcastic fellow, isn't he? Alright. I really can't believe how quickly we're sculling all those, um... Snaps up. That's crazy. But yeah, I, th I guess the happiness is what really what improves say? the amount of money that we make through taxes. Which is great. I mean, I'm not going to say no to more money, am I? No, I am not. Anyways, let's go ahead and we should be just about able to upgrade. Oh, we can't. I want us to progress in our journey. So select the editor and his crew. Oh, there. Everybody on board. Good. And what's that? The very what? first chapter gone? Has your cleft of the family no shame that it now resorts to abducting my workers? The Queen's ambassador himself shall hear of this. Abduction is a severe accusation. And if I may, uh, excuse me, a false one. We left Edvard quite willingly. Pencil polishing, Popinjay. I should have been rid of you long ago. I see nothing criminal. A bit of interfamilial bickering is only natural, <laughs> and hardly a matter for the crown. And as for you, I have quite forgotten my manners, Sir Archibald Blake. Ambassador and confidant to the Queen. Despite the circumstances, Her Majesty and I were pleased to hear of your return. Your father's death was a tragedy. We regret he never had the chance of a fair trial. The real tragedy here is the vast funeral bill that goes unpaid, while this brat is living the life of O'Reilly. Sadly, your uncle has indeed alerted me to some uh, floating liabilities. I fear you have no choice but to settle them if I am to grant you your crown shipping license. Edvard registered the debt officially. Don't worry. That old tyrant can't hold us back anymore. Indeed. Once my letterpress is up and running, the truth will come back to haunt Edvard. Uh, for your hospitality, please use my ship howsoever you may wish. Now that sounds like good news. Right, I was wondering who the hell the editor is. The but that makes sense then. My hands are tied, but it may warm Her Majesty's heart to see a new enterprise taking shape. No, never. <laughs> Alright, so with that being said, I think that'll be it for the first episode. We'll be back with the second one very, very shortly. Maybe Edvard will try to prevent us owning a shipyard. But for now, let's at least house those workers. And it should be pretty straightforward, let's hope. Anyways, till next time, I'll see you guys later.